So what we're seeing in the biotech industry now is a, is a move towards facilities that are more flexible, smaller footprints, better compliance, but being faced with the challenges of how do I go from a stainless steel plant to a plastic plant? What are the risks? How have the risks changed? So a number of the ena enabling technologies that we're seeing out there are going to use of single use uh, containers, transfer systems for the actual products themselves. The products are the live cells, the express products from the cells or the proteins from the cells. So that's one, of their, one area. And here at the show today, we're featuring uh, a new cell culture media product that we have that's focused on bed batch cell culture for show cell lines. We have our AxiChrome column family, which is a hoist-free maintenance, fully automated column packing system. So these columns are in a whole family of columns from five centimeters all the way up through 1.6 meters. They allow for automated packing with little to no experience and hoist-free maintenance all in one package. Also, we're seeing reduction in size of sensing systems, the ability to actually put sensors in line now that are also disposable. We're also seeing technologies of isolation come into play. We're actually actually bring my uh, area of product development and product manufacturing into very small confined spaces where I don't have to have a big sterile facility anymore, I can do it in a confined space. We can actually rip the, the clean rooms out, the existing structure out, we keep the utilities and we bring pots in, these mobile pots. They are on air bearings, they float into that facility and you can have a downstream process, for example, stacked with pots one after the other. They are easily to decontaminate uh, with vaporized hydrogen peroxide. And with that, you can also use them for multi-products, not just for one product, but for multi-products. Some of these recent trends in technology innovation are seen in vendors like EMD Millipore, Sartorius, companies like that that are actually taking a look at how can we you know, meet the needs of the marketplace, developing smaller modular systems based on single-use technology, how can I remove operators from the operation by putting inline sensing? How can I automate this so that I don't have to have people standing around, I can actually control it through an automation system. Hi, my name is Josh Hayes, I'm with EMD Millipore and I'm here to give you a brief overview on our Mobius FlexReady solution with smart flexware assemblies for chromatography and TFF. The system itself with minimal component exchange can actually be converted from chromatography to TFF unit operations, uh, which is very revolutionary in the industry and has a lot of uh, impact and footprint and capital expense. So if we kind of start at the front end, you'll see we've got a liquid handling rack way to the left, which is great for buffers in the case of chromatography. We've then got the manifold. So this particular system we have here is configured with two pumps because it does have gradient capabilities. This white piece in the middle we refer to as the clamshell. And in chromatography and TFF unit operations, you need to run higher pressures. Three or four bar are not uncommon. And the bags that are used in single-use manufacturing are not rated for that kind of pressure. So we have a system that has the rigidity in the clamshell and the actual consumable single-use piece is two pieces of film welded together with a flow path in it. You can see the fluid pathway options in this clamshell. When we open this door, you'll see that there are two mirror images of the same flow path. That provides the rigid support that you need for three or four bar and then the single use or disposable piece effectively just becomes the conduit for the liquid. So once you've used it, you throw it away and you put in a new one for the next run. So as you can see, this is our two-dimensional flow path within the clamshell. There is what appears to be a circuit board. Actually, the better alliteration I heard earlier was a waffle iron when you open the two halves and sandwich the disposable piece in between. But we have one configuration. So we have a single flow path design. All the customization happens through the automation. So the software through opening and closing these valves behind these blue silicone pads dictates where the fluid does or does not go. So using the hydraulic lift, one person can easily lift it in and out. You can see how both halves of the clamshell have been fused together through the automation. And the doors open, and he's using the rack. There are stainless steel pins on the sides of the clamshell that sit down inside of corresponding stainless hooks in the unit. And the lift allows you to slightly raise it up, pull it backwards, remove it, and transport it over to the rack very easily with one person. The other nice thing to keep in mind is, from an automation standpoint, we have a proprietary automation platform called CCP. It's the same interface for both TFF and chromatography, and depending on which clamshell is in place, 
it will load the appropriate interface, which is very nice from an operation standpoint.